Hi, my name is Nyat Trong, and today I will be talking about Fidesz Strachio by John Paul II, the man himself. Fidesz Strachio in Latin means faith and reason. For hundreds of years, human has been seeking a meaning to our own existence. We ask questions such as, who am I? What is there after this life? What is the true meaning of life? Is there any purpose to our existence? That's the And the church is no different, except we have the answer, which is Jesus Christ, because he is the way, the truth, and life through his passion, death, and resurrection. It is, and it is the church mission to spread this ultimate answer to man's question about pain, suffering, and death. But why, you ask? Because all humans have the right to receive the truth. God has made the truth accessible to all men and women through his Son, Jesus Christ. And he is also a way for God to reveal himself to man. What is faith then? Faith is man's obedience response to revelation. What is reason? The ability to reason <laughs> and to think in abstract terms are present from God, you could say. Allow man to acquire true knowledge about the world that God created and himself. How do man receive the truth? By freely entrusting himself or herself to God and Jesus. By faith, man accepts the truth. With the gift of reason and the assist of faith, along with the Holy Spirit, only then will man understand and embrace the truth. Purpose of Reason Man still has to depend on others as a source of knowledge, even if it was such a great gift that was bestowed upon us. Why? Because it was intended this way, so God, no, intended this way by God, so that man will not seek the truth alone, but as a collective. The end point. With the gift of grace, faith, and man's personal assent, reason, to God wisdom. The human wisdom known by belief is transformed by theological faith. Thus, in knowing and loving God through faith, man's come to the ultimate truth by themselves. What is philosophy? The study of ultimate truth, which is reason. What is theology? The study of Catholic faith with revelation as its first principle. Purpose is to permit greater understanding of faith. Faith and reason, philosophy and theology. Just like how faith and reason work together, philosophy and theology also support each other to form many perfect ideals. How is it possible? Well, there are two forms of ways. The first form is ways reason support faith and philosophy support theology. Reasons prepare the way for faith. You can use philosophy as a stepping stone to the faith by I'll get back to that. Uh, number two, reasons lay the foundation of faith and make revelation credible by showing that there is a God through his miracle. Number three, faith without reason would just be myth or superstition without any base. And we cannot believe in it. Because, yeah. Number four, philosophy provides a foundation for theology. You could say that it provides a logical structure so that theology could be real science. Oh, back to number one. Reasons prepared the way for faith. You can use philosophy as a stepping stone to faith by showing that there is a God through his miracle. Oh crap, no. Crap, no. By demonstrating the error of our argument against faith. There it is. How is it possible? The other ways are ways faith support reason and theology support philosophy. Faith steer reason on the correct path to the truth, prevent error. You could say it's a beacon of light for reason. Faith inspire reason to explore new path on that path to truth, the truth. Number three, faith give philosopher 
the courage to tackle difficult questions. And lastly, faith protect the philosopher from intellectual pride that would embed, embed his ability to search for the truth. Basically, a way to humble himself, show him what he needs, not what he wants. What stopped them though? Because of the rise of rationalism, faith and reason became separate. The consequence is nihilism. Nihilism is when life has no meaning and no objective truth can be found. It focuses on satisfying one's own pleasure temporarily and treat humans as objects. In nihilism, there are only temporary culture with no tradition. Just portrayed right here by the Joker himself. It's all a joke. Everything, everybody, ever value and struggle for is all a monstrous, demented gag. So why can't you see the funny side? Why aren't you laughing? It's a, I would say this is a symbolism for nihilism, where we all get what we want, temporary, but in the end we're not happy at all, even if we get all those things we want temporary. What to do then? Pope John Paul II challenged the philosopher and the theologians this. Philosophy needs to go back to searching for true wisdom and the ultimate meaning of life. And theology needs to be able to proclaim the gospel in ways modern man can understand. Why though? The great father warned us because he predicted that if this continues, the next millennium will only bring a new era of chaos. In conclusion, faith and reason go hand in hand to help humanity reaching the ultimate truth, Jesus Christ. Without them, there will be chaos. Well, that's not Thank you for listening and have a great day. Haha. <laughs>